gave it to me, chat. <laughs> okay, here we go. Five days of playing. All right, let's see how. Uh... See you in Discord. Oh yeah, I see this works perfectly. Nice. Zoomed in enough. All right, chat. What do you guys see? What is? What can we roast them the worst over? My earrings. Just don't look at them. Oh, guys, remember this is the guy who died on uh, Horntail because he didn't have Magic Art on. <laughs> <laughs> CRA, nice hacks. What is what is this, guys? Oh, these shoes are kind of nice. Let's get some shoes. Okay, so what is this seven all-stat pants? I have no idea. <laughs> what are you doing with this? All right. Um, do, 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 do. Critical rate's already at 88. Nice. Do, 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 do. And then you get... Um, ba, 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 ba. Grand and critical damage. Yeah. Everything else for your uh, hyper stats, you can probably dump into regular damage. Okay. To increase your just your general out damage output to everything, but you're still probably gaining. Because uh, what level are you now? Uh, one seventy five. One seventy five. Yeah, you're still gonna gain uh, hyper set points at a at a pretty fast rate, a pretty high rate. So you're gonna be able to um, get a bunch of damage from that pretty soon. Twenty four sixty nine. Magic attack. That's all fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. Star Force. Yes. Okay. And the goal was get Bean, Big, Bean Cup permanent Siri gear through Struggle Party. Yes. Okay. So which pieces are you going to be working on and where are you going to get them? Go. Uh, it's like just for general progression. Well, what what are you like working on right now? Like, which ones are you aiming for every day? Like, I want to get this, I want to get that. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to get the horntail earrings because anything's better than the level fifty ones I have. Mm -hmm. uh, then, I guess I also just need to do Silent Crusade and just get free rings. Yeah, th those are not super useful though. Um. You know, they're your limited. You can star force them, but you can't potential them. So, very limited use. Um, if you would do crusade, it would be to get like a mechanator pendant, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, because it also fills the slot that the horntail necklace does. But the mechanator pendant is uh, has flame advantage, so you can get stronger flames on those. Okay. Uh, so I would probably replace that. What kind of set amount are we looking at? We're looking at, so if you get the Pink Holy Cup, uh, and then either get the Pink Bean or the Zakum Belt, whichever one, probably want to get the Pink Bean Belt, right? You can just do normal every day, so you'll probably get that one faster. Yeah. And then the Belt is basically only CZAC, so that's that's a little bit down the road. So you have two, three, four, so you want to get your eye accessory from Zakum? Are you doing Zakum every yeah, day for that? That's the other thing, I'm doing it every day with a drop coupon. Yep. And easy, um, easy Magnus for shoulder. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, and are you do, are you doing normal Hilla right after that? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's because because Hilla could also drop the earrings, right? And then you wouldn't need oh, Horntail yeah. anymore. Which could be nice. Although I yeah. haven't gotten the earrings from normal in a while. Normal Hilla can drop the earrings, right, guys? I never know with these kind of drops because they're like they're not important. So why would they not be able to? But hard hell no normal hella. Oh, is that who said no? Yes, sir. No. Hmm. Okay. Equipment drop. Yeah, it's just Necro and Pet Box. Necromancer, everything, a bunch of Necro stuff, a lot of Necro, Necromancer, Necromancer. Uh, okay. 
That's a lot of items. Um, what is the items again? Um, what are the earrings called again? D no, the, not the DSCDs. Those are the other ones. Can I just control F for earrings? Willow wisps. Oh yeah, Will Willow Willow the wisps. Will Ah, Willow the wisps. Equipment drop. This is from Hard, right? Okay, it only drops from Hard. Okay, so the earrings have to be from Horn too. Okay. Confirmed. Oh, so, so confirmed that what I just said was wrong, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so for cape, you could try to go for the Nova cape for now. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then hopefully shoes and gloves, you get something better from Hila. Um, you could fuck with the heart now if you want to by getting the Android. I don't know if you want to do that though. There's probably a lot of gains you could get from using the coins for actual other stuff. Um, so that might be a little bit unnecessary to do anything with the heart. Uh, you already got for the earring. Uh, you, are you monster parking every day? Yeah. Okay, so that gives you progress for the metal. And then the emblem, do you know how to get that? No. Aha, uh -huh. if you check your inventory and you go to etc., there's a book in there. And when you double click that, it'll show you a quest. Which book am I looking at? Uh, it's like Explorer book. Oh, yeah. It's probably yellow or something. I don't know what the mage one is. Green, maybe? Uh, green. Green, yeah. Oh, yeah, yellow is uh, luck, probably. Yeah, so that says like a whole quest line. And you want you need to complete like the whole quest line. And then at the end, I think once you're at like quests that are around level 120 or something, you have to like go to um, Maple Island a bunch and you have to like re restore it to its former glory, blah, blah, blah. And then you get the emblem at the end. Okay. And that's going to be one that you, so the emblem, and then once you get your your secondary, not this one, uh, you'll be able to get the, uh, that's where you're going to be able to get a lot of damage on to okay. help with your, because your weapon is like good where it is now, and then you want to get like unique, hopefully on the emblem and the secondary as well, and there you can get a lot of magic attack from that'll help you out. Okay. Yeah. And like ideally you'd want magic attack on your weapon as well, but one line of magic attack will will definitely do less than the three lines that you have now, so you might as well just keep this. Yeah. Um, so for the secondary, you want the Deimos Mage Shield, which I'm not 100% not 100% which one where that drops. Deimos Sage Shield. Like, I know where the, uh, I know, like, normal um, Cygnus is the easiest one. Mm -hmm. But it says it also drops from th Wind, Thunder, and Official Knight A. That's it. Mm. Where was that from? So Wind and Thunder are those little duties that are oh. that you have to kill for the drops. But there's not too many monsters in those maps, so that's probably not the best way to get them. Yeah. And then Official Knight A are the, the Thief ones. So both the regular ones and the Star Force ones, apparently, uh, have it in a drop table. So the ones uh, that are completely in black clothing. Okay, I've been killing those and haven't gotten a single one of those drops. It's unfortunate. You know, maybe a maybe a tag along to a Cygnus. You can mm, should be able to do normal Cygnus and not super long. I think it's a oh. nice boss fight too, but you know. Hmm. How long have you been there to try to get the I grind for like three or four hours, not I guess that's not too long. Nah, that should have that should have given at least one that's weird. On those official nights? Yeah. I was in the map with uh what's it called? It's with official night A's and then the Blaze Wizard ones. Oh yeah, so it is a split map, but even then, if you're there for... Wait, in the... In, like, in the Hall of Honor? I was in, uh, Night District 1. 
Night District 1. Oh, I can't check the one. Uh, Oh no, that's the that's the one that has the portal to all the little duders in it, right? Uh, uh, the one before that. Oh, the one before that. Okay, that's split. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. That you didn't get it then. Hmm. I guess you try a little bit more, and if you can find it, try to see if somebody wants to like maybe take you to normal Cygnus so you can loot the recipe. Okay. If you really can't get it, like, I don't mind going on a character. Honestly, fuck it, I could probably do it on my cannon here. That's like a decent, uh, decent drop rate for the crystal. Okay. Especially since you have, uh, extra drop rate from your holy symbol, right? Yup. Wait, do I have that yet? I don't think I do. Oh, it's a hyperstat that you might not have. It's the level. 180. Oh, 180. Okay, soon. So get five more levels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so eventually for rings, you probably want to get event rings. I don't know how many synergy rings you already have on your account. Zero. Zero, okay. We do have, um, synergy. was it synergy ring and master accessory ring, right? In the next phase of the shop. So like daily point capping is going to be very important for you if you're like trying to fund up a new character. So that once you get to 200, you can get nodes from that. Once you're, um, and maybe even symbols, at least... Yeah, uh, and that for the phase two, you can buy your event rings to give you an, a big boost in damage, that kind of stuff. It's mm -hmm. going to be important to make sure that you're um, you're doing those things and the, you know, the daily extra coins, fighting the the knights and the and the horses and shit. Yeah, I have not been keeping up with this event. <laughs> okay, well, it, mainly these types of events are just always really good. They're just high value for new players. Um, okay. And one extra thing I was gonna say. Oh yeah, and if you do maple relay, then you get the um, the thirty coins every day as well from that from the last box. Yeah, I've been doing that. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so I imagine you would get the maple relay weapon on this guy, right? Yeah. So you don't want to invest over invest into the weapon. Uh, do you have occult cubes lying around? Uh, I used a lot of them last night. I usually get like 20 from all my boss runs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the um, yeah. I would focus on those and trying to at least roll like six percent um, intellect on your hat and your pants. I would have kept the um, the top epic as well because of the situation you're in. Um, not like to say like you fucked up, but just like to. Um, and give you the information like because once you um once you go into unique now you have to use master crossman to roll right which is quite expensive yeah and if you keep it epic you can just keep rolling with occults and you can get your six percent way easier and now you probably settle for nine which is only a three percent difference and three percent would be the difference as well by getting an item from like rare to epic and then rolling from three to six so unless everything is already six percent intellect and uh, and epic uh, then you'd want to like move into unique with these kind of things but especially because you don't have your secondary or your emblem yet where you can get magic attack you'd want to focus on getting those to unique first because being able to go from six percent magic attack to nine percent magic attack is a way bigger increase than getting from six to nine percent intellect on on another item so oh, okay. that's why you want to like focus your funds more for sure in this yeah. intelligence i'll you can never unlearn this from me again i'm 32 years old you can never Teach an old dog new tricks, okay? This is not it's not gonna happen anymore. You need to let it go. Is it possible to cube flame star at the figs lab? Only flame. Uh okay, so we talked about this one, this one. Uh yeah, the metal is like whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's that's gonna be just a shit slot, whatever. Um you know about that one, you know about that one, you know about that one. Glove is hopefully gonna be a better necro glove. Uh, yeah. We talk about cape, belt, this, that, this, that. Yeah, so try to get six percent int on all of these. Um, if you have a flame, what would you throw it on? If you look at your gear right now. Um, on the looking game, that'll be easier. I do. Luckily, have one flame that I haven't used yet. I don't think. Yeah, I have one. Mm-hmm. 
So I'd you... probably throw it. Oh jeez, I don't know. Maybe my legs, or maybe my staff, because all I have is. Well, I have plus 50 magic attack on that. Mm hmm So I don't think I would want to do anything with that. Mm hmm So I'd probably say my legs. So you know which items have flame advantage and which ones don't? No, I do not. Uh-huh. So if you're not sure, you can always... Uh, so if you check exclamation mark flames, that brings up the flame guide. And there's a link there to a thread where all of the items are mentioned that are flame advantage and which ones... Uh, and the ones that are not in that are not. So if you're ever wondering if an item is flame advantage or not, you can look at, um, cause that's like the baseline, right? Knowing what can I expect of this item? Can I get good potential? Can I get good flame bonus stats here? Or will I get shitty ones? That's the basis, like knowing the difference there. One of the ways you can know is by looking at the item and seeing how many lines of stat are being, um, are being altered. And it so very quickly, the main difference is flame advantage is always four lines of stats altered. Um, but the the caveat is sometimes it's not four individual visible lines because it can be like strength, dex, and then a line of strength and dex, and then the numbers get added together, right? So it's not always it's not always visual. Uh, but then you would see bigger numbers, which would set that, which would set that off after a while. Once you get more in tune like, with like water flames and how high do they really go? Yeah. Uh, and then with non-flame advantage, it's one to four lines of stats. So, for example, if you get your horn tail necklace, you could very clearly see like this is a level 120 item, right? This is 10 levels higher than your condensed power crystal, uh, but it only has like 12 strength and 12 intellect, like. The only way this could work is if it was strength, intellect, strength and intellect, and then intellect and strength or something. And then all of that together would have to go up to 12. Like there's no way, right? So this these are, this is less than four lines. So you can immediately see this is not a flame advantage item. So flaming this one would be bad. And you don't, we want to set really low standards for this item. Okay. Another, another item that has low numbers is your frozen cape. It's like nine, nine, nine hundred three. These are low numbers, but it's a very low level item. And it is four lines. So this one could be one where you're like, I'm not sure. So you could just go here and you could do control F frozen. Oh, and you already see like the frozen stuff is popping up, right? So if you do frozen yeah. cape, like frozen cape shows up here. So it is a flame advantage item. But then the downside is it's a low level item. So you also probably don't want to commit too many flames to it because the outcome will probably still be relatively shitty. And if you look at the shoes, you look at these numbers, you're like, oh, like you can see that this is good. This is why people get the necromancer shoes because they have flame advantage because you can rely on them giving you a lot of extra stat just like with cra these are big numbers right and you see yeah. and and a lot of numbers so one line here is probably the hp uh one line is the intellect by itself and then it looks like a luck and strength line of plus 16 each and uh and then a line of dex and luck of, of 20 each right yeah so that's that's how you would look at um, at an item like this. So you look at what like how much potential could it gain. And if you look at the condensed power crystal, you'll see four attack, thirty six defense, three speed, and minus thirty required level. Which this is a tier six, a tier four. These are pretty high numbers. This is also a flame advantage item that can have decent outcomes at level one hundred and ten. So if you had a flame, you you use it on throw it on this one because this one has zero gains for you right now, unless you count three speed. Um, yeah. and has the highest chance of giving you extra stat. Uh, and then the second highest would be your hat. Okay. Um, and that goes into like, how does a score, um, how does a flame really work for you? How much value does it really give you? How strong does it make you? Um, so you can see that you have 7% all stat on the pads and 4% all stat on the hat. And besides that, there's nothing else giving you damage, right? There's strength, there's luck a little, that gives a, a little bit on the hat, but there's speed, jump. So this one is weaker than this one. You can see that by the numbers here. Yeah. When it comes to the top, it's a little difficult because it has 40 intellect, 36 luck. Like how does that compare to these numbers, right? That's difficult to compare. 
because you can't just like unequip one and then unequip another one and see how much it gives because then you have set bonuses you have potential that come into play maybe a different amount of star force later on down the road so how do you compare those two well so in order to do that you can look at the you can try to calculate the flame score of the item so here you have like an example um basically you count your main stat in the flame for one point you count the secondary stat so we're going to look at this column for you uh, because that's what you're going to be aiming towards. So right now, the balance might be a bit different, but this is the balance that you're aiming towards. So for secondary stat, it's about 1 to 8. So every 8 luck for you would be 1 point. Uh, magic attack for you would count as 4 points, and all stat as 8.5. So if you're not comfortable with... Um, if it's like too much or whatever, it's like annoying for you, you can also just use the calculator. And then you can throw the numbers in here. And you can say like, okay, I am a my main stat is intellect um, hang on. oh yeah normal class is intellect and then it automatically just selects your secondary stat as luck and then you could just put the items in if you want to so this should come out uh, so this is one and this is eight to one so this should come out as four and a half so this should come out as 44 and a half so you can double check 40 int 36 luck then you can add the 16 strength and you can add the 20 dex if you want to, but it shouldn't change uh, the number because those numbers don't register for your character, right? 2,700 HP, yeah. like this all doesn't register. This doesn't give you damage. You can click calculate if you want to. Uh, I think it auto updates. Uh, and if you want to do another item, you can reset. So in this way, you can check like the difference between your pants and your, and your hat, for example. So your, pa your pants is at seven. So that's like 59.5, which is higher than the ha than the top as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the hat was at four, and what was it, 16 luck, I think? Yeah, so this was at 36. So if you had to rank them, they're all um, flame advantaged. They're all the same level, which means that they get the same quality within the same tiers, right? Because flames are all in different tiers and have a a range of how good the possible outcomes are. But if your um, higher level items have a higher range within the same tier of outcome. So these, yeah. since these are the same level and the same quality, um, you can expect similar results from the flames. So if the condensed power crystal gets a better flame, um, which would probably be something of a flame score like around, four, f probably like around 40 to 50, and then you start working on the CRA stuff, um, generally. Of course, for you, it's temporary CRA stuff, so you don't want to like overcommit and spend too much money. There's a chance that there's other items that you get that could also become flame advantage, and as a result, you might keep those items longer, and you'd want to flame those items instead. So, for example, once you get your eye accessory, the, um, the what is it called? The aquatic letter eye accessory, right? If you look it up here aquatic oh there it is aquatic letter eye accessory also flame advantage so once you start flaming uh, once if you get that one it has a shitty flame similar to this one you can also flame that one and you have the highest rate of getting gains on that one uh, again those items are like a lower level so you don't want to go too crazy on them but it could still be an easy like 40 to 50 stat there whereas if you're trying to get 40 to 50 stat on top of your top for example whether you're aiming for like 80 80 to 90 stat which is, which means you have to hit a lot of very high outcomes on all of the potential lines that you could be getting, which is very tricky because you can only get every single um, possible outcome of your flame once per item, right? And you, so you can look at the total list of outcomes here, but for example, there's, there's one outcome for every stat. So there's strength, uh, strength, dex, intellect, luck, and then there's a strength and dex, strength and intellect, strength and luck, Dex and intellect, dex and luck, and intellect and luck. Like every combination of the stats together. But you can't get like int, 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 like it doesn't work like that, right? So in order yeah. to get like a very high amount of intellect, you would have to get intellect and intellect and luck and intellect and dex and intellect, you know? So it, yeah. there's a very low chance that all of those things happen at the same time. So to kind of spread the risk of increasing your damage overall, you spread that risk over the items that have the biggest um, um, estimated increase, like the biggest uh, EV plus, basically. You know about EV? Uh, 
No. As like as uh, expected, it's like expected value. Like say if you're trying to increase something, what has the best chance of increasing and uh, increasing by a certain amount? Like let's say um, let's say you want to aim for sixty on the top, and you want to aim for forty on the power crystal. Like what has the best chance to throw a flame on right now? Going from forty to sixty, or going going anywhere from forty to sixty on with one flame, or going from anywhere from zero to forty? What has the best estimated uh, expected value there? Okay. It's, it's obviously the condensed power crystal right because it has zero so even if you completely miss you'd lose nothing and it has everything to gain whereas the top if you flame that one well there's a decent chance that it goes down and then you're you know even further away further away from your goal yeah i feel like i'm making some things more complicated do you get the general what i'm trying to say yeah so in from all of from these four items here, in which order would you would you generally flame them? Uh, like out of the top, the hat, the face, and the pants. Yeah. The face. Yeah, and then what would be second? Um, uh, I think it's the hat. Mm-hmm. And then pants, then chest, or top. Um. Well, so yeah. So if you're. Or did I get that backwards? Yeah, I think you got that backwards. But that's because you're still not familiar with like the numbers. Once you get the numbers in your head, it's like um, stat is one, magic attack is four, all stat is eight. Like as long as you have that in your head, as soon as you look at the at this, you're like seven percent all stat. Oh, it's like more than eight. Oh, that's like that's like fifty six. It's almost sixty. Like sixty greater than forty. Boom, that one's better. As long as you get those numbers in your head, it it becomes way easier. Yeah. So it's just it's just this column and just working with this a little bit more uh, within like a week it'll be like yeah you, you'll just see an item you'll see if it has flame advantage or not you'll see if you want to use it or not and you'll see what the what kind of potential it has on like how good can this item actually become so if you're in, uh, not familiar with like um, the numbers and everything and how far you want to go well the so the reason I um, I score these things like this is so that you can have a clear goal of what are you aiming towards and how can you compare these items together yeah um, so if you check on progression you can see like what kind of flame score you'd be aiming for so you can know like okay do I need to stop here uh, did I get really lucky or do I need to keep going and is this is this really bad so you're going to be aiming probably for like because you're trying to do like the CRA stuff so you're going to be aiming for like the middle of the mid game probably like near the end of the mid game so like three quarters of the way there. So for um, it's probably a little high, honestly, but the low end here. But yeah, for the non-boss items, honestly, this might be a little high for the non-boss items. I might have to adjust that down a little bit because I don't want people to be wasting money on um, on non-boss flames, honestly. Yeah. You want? I wanted to throw everything at boss items because. Um, the potential for gain is so much greater, right? You see, like the the outcome is just like three times, um, and the, but and the variance on the on the non-boss items is so great because it can be one to four lines. The variance is so much greater, so you're not only going to be spending more, you're only got also going to be getting less. So yeah, you you want to avoid that as much as possible, and there's going to be so much potential for gains on the higher level items and on the flame advantage items. Um, yeah. So you probably want to aim for like mid 60s flame score probably on the flame advantage items and like maybe around 20 or you know 15 to 20 I guess on the um, flame non flame advantage items. So if you ever get a new item and you're ever unsure which one it is you can always just use this list and just look it up. Um, or if you look at the item and you you know you see that there's only like one green number or maybe two then it's usually or, or the numbers are very very low you know then it's usually um it, it like instinctively you'll be like oh this is probably not and then you'll either get it confirmed or unconfirmed by the by the list yeah and if you're uh, in the beginning so wondering about the flame score you can just use the calculator to compare them together 
and then once you have the numbers and you know you make uh, you keep track of that somewhere as you do that more in your brain you'll just see an item and you'll be like oh this is roughly this much this is roughly this much and if they're like really really close then there's probably something else that's way higher or way lower that will set it off and if some if uh, let like let's say your pants have like 40 intellect and seven percent all stat and your top and bottom are still both like this then it doesn't really matter whether you do your top or your bottom first because they're like they're almost the same because they're both so much below the other item that you already have that it doesn't really matter which one you do first whether it can gain like 58 stat or 56 like that doesn't really matter like it's the same order of magnitude right so in the beginning it's good to get familiarized with how do these things work and then once you get how it works, you can just, yeah, be, do your own, uh, <laughs> treat it in your own way, basically. Okay. Um, yeah, so for these, I think these flames are like fine, I guess. Um, I wouldn't go too high because this is temporary gear. And you want to focus on, uh, once you get your Fakesolab item, you want to get a really good flame on that because that's a permanent item. And because it's also Absolab, so higher tier, so better, uh, better results. Um, because weapons work a little bit differently um like with these things it's flat amounts based on your level um but weapons also get the web magic attack and the magic attack is a percentage based on the uh base amount when it comes to the tiers yeah so the same tier would give you a higher bonus on a higher base item and abzo has a very significant base and therefore, uh, but again, you can use the calculator. So yeah, let's say that the um, base weapon. So if you want to know how good this is, where's your weapon? 204. 204 magic attack. It's, yeah, one here. 204. Boop. I see 50, right? So as you see, that's a tier five. So the highest possible outcomes with the red flames, with the powerful ones, is tier 6. That's the highest one you can get. And with the Eternals, you can go up to 7. But that's okay. very rare. So this is generally like 5 or 6 is generally the sweet spot. And if you hit anything else on your weapon, that includes percentage damage, percentage boss damage, maybe all stat, maybe some intellect, that can sweeten the deal to maybe settle for a 5. Uh, and then later on, you'll aim for a tier 6 maybe also with one of those other lines uh the ideal for most people late game is like tier six on their attack or magic attack stat tier six on boss damage and then hopefully something else with that maybe you know maybe damage maybe all stat so people prioritize boss damage there because as you can see here um the tiers for damage uh, for all stat is just like one percent per line the tiers for damage is just uh one percent per line like tier six is six, tier five is five, but for boss damage is double. So tier five is 10%, tier four is 8%. And since your damages just kind of get thrown onto one pile when you're bossing and you don't really need like 4% damage, you know, that's not going to make the difference between one shotting a monster or two shotting your mobs in the map, you know? Um, yeah. You want to min max more for the bossing situation and that's why rolling the boss line is way more important there. Okay. But now we're talking about like the flame on your Absolab item. So we're already a little bit ahead of things, but that is what you're going to be getting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, then apart from that, like everything that's, that you're going to be keeping for a bit, I would try to roll at least like 3% intellect on there. Uh, maybe not even bother with using stamps because that can be a bit expensive in the beginning. Okay. Because how much they're like, what is it like 8 mil or something? I think so. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's kind of a lot, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, just like if you have a Colts, like roll 3% int on your shoe, 3% int on your um, ring. And mm, probably not on your cape because we're replacing that one quickly, right? Uh, yeah. Probably not on the glove because we're trying to go for the necro glove. And then try to roll for 6% on the pants, 6% on the hat. Um, and I guess if you find a monster cross when you can throw it on your top. Try to go for uh, try to go for at least six uh, nine percent there, because mm. if you do get it up to unique, you want to make it worth its potential, right? Like let's say you're using a cold cubes on something that's rare to get three percent intellect, and it goes to epic. Well, then you're not going to stop at three percent intellect. Then you're going to push for six, because it mm -hmm. has that potential, right? You're not going to settle at that point. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the condensed power crystal can get a better flame for sure. 
and it's going to stay with you with a, for a while. You can definitely also try to get the 3% intellect on there. Um, what you could also do is hold off on flaming it. And if, because if you're still doing Zakum daily, it is possible that you get a really good drop one as well. So, uh, uh, unless, unless you just used it and got a really good flame. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use it? Did I use what? The flame that you have? Oh, no, I don't have it. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so it, um, because the only thing you really did with this is just star to 10 stars, which is very easy to replace, right? Yeah. So if you're still doing Zakum, you're still in this phase of the game, it's very easy to be like, oh, this other item comes with like 40 intellect or like 40 flame score, or maybe 50 or something. Well, that's the equivalent probably of like maybe like 10 to 15 flames, whereas getting it. 10 star force is like the equivalent of less than one flame probably right so the value inherently already in the item is to just switch the item and star force the other one rather than to feel like you've already invested in this because you haven't really invested in this at all right 10 star is not an investment so yeah. that's that's the way i would look at what is the value of these bosses every day because it's not like zakum is a three hour boss every day it's like you just go in go out right you're trying to get the eye accessory you might get a good uh condensed power crystal on the way there that's basically how you would want to look at the items right now. Same thing if you unlock arc and you do the, you kill easy arc, maybe nor, maybe normal arc, but it'll depend on how strong your character is. Uh, and you get a mechanator pendant. Well, what if you have one mechanator pendant, but it has a really shit flame? You could just equip it to get the set bonus, uh, but you might want to keep doing normal arc instead or easy or normal arc to get another mechanator pendant and see if you can get one with a way better flame because that would give you way more value than buying a bunch of flames or dumping all of your flames into the mechanator pen to, to, to try to get some more stat there basically okay yeah um okay so normal arc um probably not the heart ping bean for those uh yeah for rings i would definitely try to go for the event rings and then synergy stacks do you know how the rings all work no the event rings uh if you check Okay, if you check exclamation mark rings, I made a little, what would you call this, like an infograph? Or I don't know <laughs> what you would call this. But uh, basically here are the most the, the most prolific uh, event rings. So these two on the bottom are the ones that we're uh, gonna be getting. So this one is weak by itself, but it gets a set bonus as you equip it on more characters. And if you have it equipped on five characters, it becomes equivalent to the strongest rings. Stronger than this one, stronger than this one. Uh, same strength as this, one on the base stats and same strength as this one, which are like, those are the three stronger ones. Uh, so by itself, it's kind of useless, but therefore it's also cheap. But once you have it on at least five characters, it actually becomes one of the strongest rings. And, but it's at that point, it's still the cheapest one. So the more characters you have that all have it, the more all of them actually get access to very cheap damage. And all of these can be potential as well. So that's why they're good value. Okay. Um, and they're basically stronger than, let's say the Galax rings, up until the Galax rings get to like 17 stars or above, then they over get overtaken. But we're still very far away from that. So until then, the event rings are actually really good damage spike. Okay. Uh, and then the Master SS ring, yeah, I explained it here. Basically, you buy boxes that have jewels in them, and then you got to fuse the jewels together, and at a certain rate, they can tier up. And you want to tier them up all the way to the highest tier, which is tier S. And then you fuse that tier S ring, with a ring fitting that kind of looks like this. And then you get a, a jewel ring that looks like this, but only has one color. It'll be either red, green, blue, or yellow. And then when you have four of those S rings in total, like fused S, uh, like S jewels in rings that are actual ST rings, four of those, and you go to the NPC that where you also fuse the rings, which is gonna be like a rabbit with like a thumper. <laughs> um, and then it, you can fuse those four rings together into the master SS ring and then uh, I think you pay like, I don't know, like 30, 30k or something. I don't know. <laughs> you pay like a, a menial fee for the for the forge. Yeah. Uh, and then you can start force those. And that one comes with like the fully stacked uh, stats that the synergy ring would get. But that one comes out. But there's RNG with the boxes. There's a limited amount of boxes you can buy per day. So it's like a little bit of an RNG process. You could get lucky. You could get unlucky. Um, but that's also a really strong ring. Definitely worth of... Uh, Worthy of fitting uh, one of those slots that you have left. Okay. Um, and then you have one slot left. You're probably 
want to try to get the the Kana treasure ring. I'm guessing. From the uh, have you ever done those prequests for Princess No? I have not done that ever. Okay. Uh, well, basically, you have a quest that's I think it's Princess Sakuno beckons in your light bulb tab. Um, and then you'll travel to Momiji Gaoka, the area where the Kana and the Hayato spawn, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a little bit of a of a prequest uh, to unlock going to the temple. And then when you go to the temple, there's a there's a quest line that you do. But before you go there, you have to drink a transformation potion, and you can transform into either Kana, into a Hayato, or into an Ayame, which is an unreleased class. Um, and basically you have to do the same quest line as the three as one of the three characters and with every character that you complete the quest line you get an equip at the end and if you have all three of them equipped you can learn a skill and if you learn that skill then you can go fight princess no and get her secondary and whatever but you don't need to go that far you can just do the transformation as a kana and then complete that quest line as the kana and then you get the kana treasure ring at the end basically um so some people go for the set bonuses but it kind of depends on what kind of items you're getting to see like the combination of the sets to see if it's worth it. So if you're going for the badge and you're going for the earrings and you're going for the eye in the face and you're going for the pocket item, you're going for the belt and you have the ring and you have the shoulder and you have the pendant, then you're at nine. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, then you have nine set boss bonus. What some people do is they go only for seven, and then they replace the uh, the shoulder and the belt with the shoulder and the belt from that set. Okay. Uh, yeah, and some people also replace the earring and the two pendants, and then go for um. Bo the alien boss set, but I think that's gonna be a little bit, might be a little bit tricky, a little bit too much. Ayame went, dude. I wish they would release Ayame. The whole concept is pretty fun. Honestly, I think going for the nine set accessory is is fine for you. Okay. And then just have the kind of treasure ring, and then two event rings. So you'll end up with um, silver blossom ring. Uh, synergy ring and then hopefully get more synergy rings on other characters as well right so you can empower the ring for the ring effect for all your characters involved uh, and then a master assess ring so both of those are coming in the phase two of the coin shop and then um, kind of treasure ring and then a domin uh, not a dominator a mechanator pendant instead of this one and then you have another uh, pendant slot available so what you could do is use a horn tail or a chaos horn tail in the other slot as long as you don't have a spirit pendant anymore um and it'll free up like one extra and then some people would like switch out the shoulder for example because the shoulder cannot be flamed anyway so there's not a big power differential there um and then you can get the set the two set bonus from the accessories right so you get the uh, is it Ayame? No, the Hayato shoulder. So then you would have to do the quest line again, like as a Hayato, to get the shoulder at the end. Okay. That's what you could do if you if you go for like the two pendants. So if you get like one of the horn tail pendants, well, probably the Chaos horn tail pendant because it has better base stats, uh, plus a Mechanator pendant. And then your weapon stays the same, but will get replaced by the um, the fake Absolute weapon, and that one you will upgrade with flames. Um, and try to go for tier six magic attack, right? Which will, which you can use in the flame calculator to see how much that will be, to make sure. Uh, and for belt and pocket, we get the pink holy cup and the probably the pink bean belt. That will be the easiest, both from the same boss. Um, adding the Sakum eye, and then everything else is the same. Uh, earring, the horn tail earring, shoulder. So probably the, uh, hopefully <laughs> the magnet shoulder, but then maybe the Hayato one if you go for the double pendants. Uh, gloves probably necro gloves I'm guessing although flame on the flame on this one isn't horrible right it had some magic attack it has all stat and it has intellect and luck so it's it's all the useful lines but uh, yeah. imagine if you had like these tier of lines with the higher tier of that's the difference between the average outcome between the non flame advantage and the flame advantage is also two tiers so if you had all of these same lines all two tiers higher and then on a flame advantage item that would be Real, that on a necro glove that would be really nice 
Um, but on these, honestly, like as placeholders, the way, uh, as far as pencil or mage gloves go, this is a good mage glove, honestly. So you will have to get a pretty decent necro uh, flame to make it better than this. Uh, but it can, of course. Um, it can be. Uh, and then the emblem, I told you about the quest line, so you're getting that one. I would definitely uh, invest into the emblem and in the uh, and in the secondary once you get the uh, the recipe. And try to get those at least to like unique with some percentage magic attack. That will make your damage go up a lot. Um, and the rest stays the same. Oh yeah, and cape. Try to go for the, the Nova cape. That will probably be from normal Magnus. So that's, that's still a little ways off. Yeah. Right. And then your general stats. Oh yeah, and percentage damage for your hyper stats. Uh, if you're wondering about the hyperstats, you can check exclamation mark hyperstats in the chat as well. That's a video that I made about like how to distribute your hyperstats that can maybe illuminate a little bit better why you make you want to make the decisions that you do. A little bit of the of the reasoning around surrounding it. Okay. Um, inner ability is fine for now. You don't have to worry about that too much. You can just leave that. Uh, your boss damage and your IED that'll that'll just come on its own. Uh, and that it'll ma they'll mainly also get spiked by once you get your emblem and your um, and your secondary to a legendary and then start rolling there. Uh, and of course you'll get a bunch of boss damage from the Absolab. Well, actually you won't gain that much because the, you're breaking the set bonus. So you're only gaining a little bit. Um, but it also has some crit rate on it, so that'll help you get to 100% crit rate at least for now. Um, or close to 100%. Um, yeah, and when it comes to other stuff like your hyper stats and stuff like that, uh, sorry, not hyper stats. The hyper skills, uh, you'd have to look that up specifically, but those will help you a lot as well. Like the extra drop rate and stuff will make it so that events and um, or quests, you know, and nodes and that kind of stuff will go a little bit faster once you hit 200. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you, and then you'll start worrying about uh, building arcane power and building your matrix and stuff. But hopefully you can buy some more items, uh, hopefully some more nodes and stuff from the current event shop. Do you, do you have some coins right now? I have like 400. Okay. Because there are boxes with um, random amounts of nodes in them that reset when reset from Tuesday to Wednesday. So you could still buy some this week if you haven't bought them out yet. Uh, oh. I think they're like 160 each or something. How much are those boxes, guys? Is it from the stamp shop or just the royal shop? The, just the royal shop. They cost, uh, yeah, they cost coins. Uh, they're between, yeah, like you can get anywhere between 2 and 20 from one box. It's generally low amount though. 230 for nodes, okay. Did you already get coins today? Uh, no, I've only gotten like 43. Okay, okay. So you could, uh, yeah, if you can get enough to at least buy two boxes. Apparently boxes are 230, yeah, it's uh, quite expensive. But if you, you know, there's a chance you hit a jackpot and get like... You know, there's a good chance to hit like two to four, and then there's a chance to hit like seven, and then a small, very small chance to hit ten or twenty. Uh, but that would be a lot of gains. I mean, you can't. Oh wait, you probably can't buy those boxes yet because you're not two hundred yet, right? You probably oh, don't, yeah. you probably don't see them in the shop. Yeah, my bad. You probably only see the um, the honor experience medals and the um, what else is in there? I actually don't even see that. All I see is the rise tickets a bunch of mounts a bunch of chairs a bunch oh of no that's the royal, royal shop you want to shop on the top right oh i'm so, going yeah so the royal shop goes like the whole way through the event the stamp shop also goes through the entire event and then the coin shop is resets like every four weeks so the first uh, so those are the three phases i was talking about so we're still in the first phase and then um, the second phase is going to is gonna be the one that has the rings in it. So if you check exclamation mark events in the chat, you'll see like the calendar on or, or when everything is happening and when everything is changing. So we're now like basically the last day of the third week of the first phase. <laughs> and every phase is four weeks. So we have one more full week after this for the current phase. And that's why also the items are resetting. Uh, the boxes that you can see are resetting from Tuesday to Wednesday. So those you can rebuy. Uh, and then once you have July 8th, that's when the f second phase will start and that's when you can start buying out the rings. 
um yes yeah, so if you're tra uh, training more and like um capping points every day then you'll have coins saved um so i guess it's yeah since you can't buy those yet it's probably best to just save up for now i guess if you hit 200 before the end you can uh, invest in some nodes but getting those rings will give you a lot of damage but the reason i mentioned the nodes is that once you level up your boost nodes you know how that all works with boost nodes and stuff kind of um what they basically do is they just increase the final damage of your existing skills so all of your existing skills will just start hitting way harder. Oh, okay. And then that in combination with arcane power, which will also give you final damage buff based on how, how much arcane power you have versus how much the monsters in the maps require you to have. Uh, the more you overpower them with arcane power, the more final damage you'll gain as well. And then those two things, even though they won't show up in your range at all because it's on hit effect, it'll make your um, actual hits way higher. So that's where a lot of your damage is going to be coming from in the future. Okay, and I got a question about, I guess, like just classes in general mm -hmm. with uh, open job advancement. Mm -hmm. Would it be worth it to change to ice lightning? Because I'm pretty happy with Bishop. Like I've got no issues with it. You, it'll like, really oh. start. Um, you'll really start feeling it. Like honestly, getting to 200 Bishop is is probably fine. I I had no problem between all the mages. I thought they were all pretty close to get to 200. Ice Lightning is a bit faster, but I thought they were all pretty decent. It's mainly past 200. It's gonna get really um, slow. So what you probably want to do is switch right before you hit 200, so that when you get the fifth job advancement as the Ice Lightning. Uh, that you get your three um, your three fifth job skills on the advancement and you get the ice lightning skills because if you switch after you do the fifth job advancement what happens is you'll get the three of like if you do it as a bishop you get the three bishop skills and then you switch and then your matrix is completely empty and then you'll have to start getting nodes before you can even use your base fifth job skills which the content is kind of balanced around having your fifth job skills and being able to kill faster with them okay so you can get to like 199 and a bunch of percent <laughs> as this guy and then just switch over to ice lightning and the way that you could do that is uh if you cap points and get the stamps you can buy the um advance the the job advance coin did you see it in the stamp shop uh yeah so that one allows you to change for free like it doesn't it just consumes the coin but you don't pay the, the fee basically so if you oh, save okay. up for that one, hold on to that one until you're ready to switch over. Then switch to Ice Lightning. And the beauty about switching to Ice Lightning is that you don't have to change any gear. Once you have the shield at least. So this book would be different because this is like the purely the Bishop book. Uh, your secondary weapon. But once you switch to the Daimo shield, you'll have the same exactly the same gear between all the mages and that's the beauty about switching that you don't have to like double up on stuff the only thing that you have to double up on is the nodes so that's why you want to make sure you don't get into the trouble of switching too late and then um because yeah i've heard of some people getting like to 200 on a on a dual blade and then they get their skills and then they actually wanted to switch to night lord and then they end up with a night lord with like a level 140 utgard claw with no upgrades and no fifth job skills and then it's really rough yeah so you don't want to end up in that situation because it's 255 mil to change to uh, Ice Lightning right now at 175. Yeah, so if you get... I think the coin costs 10 stamps, I think. So that means you do have to point cap on like uh, a bunch more days. Wait, how many do you have right now? Maybe you can't even get it anymore. I think I have zero. Oh, you have zero. Wait, if you include today... Oh, it's shit. You can only get like eight more, right, guys? Uh, let me go to the event. Make sure I don't have any. I think I kept one day, but I didn't do any of the quests or stuff. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I got none. Oh no, the shop stays. No, no, you're right, you're right. The shop stays. That's true. The stamps last the whole event, and you and you keep getting stamps as you max, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. No, no. It's the only shop that changes is the the coin shop. The stamp stays the same. Yeah. So as long as you keep capping, and then once you cap, you go to the star tab, and then you click the last option for stamps, and he'll give you the stamp. The first time he gives you like a bunch of yap, 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 yap explanation. And then after that, if you've capped points for the day, then you uh, click um, on the stamp option in the star tab, and he'll um, uh, he'll just give you the stamp right away. Okay. Got it. All right. Um, as for like, if you have more questions about like more basic stuff, 
Uh, you can always just ask uh, whenever like you're in the chat and everything, but I'll probably direct you to one of the commands first to like read up on it. And then if you still have questions afterwards, you'll have much more specific questions about like, how does this work in this specific instance rather than like water flames or something, right? Cause that's like a very difficult answer to like get into cause there's so many nuanced things about them that once you look through the guide and you, you look at it in your own time, it'll probably start making way, way more and more sense. And as you, you know, look up items and as you look at items and as you calculate the flame scores yourself, it'll become like a second nature and you just see an item and you're like, oh, flame advantage, oh, high tier, oh, um, good outcome, high flame score. Like you'll just see it once you see an item. And then okay. you don't have to go through the whole process anymore. But yeah, practice makes perfect in that, um, in that area, I would say. Okay. That wasn't very helpful. What wasn't very? Oh no, it was very helpful. Oh, that was very helpful. Okay, I thought you said like well, that was. No, that was the biggest waste of an hour. <laughs> okay, glad I misunderstood. All right, I would have like gone, had to go back to the drawing board there. <laughs> <laughs> an absolute waste. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Um. Yeah. So. I mean, it's good progress for five days. Um, it, it's going to depend on how much you keep playing, right? You still have um, Terror Burn up to 200, I think. Yep. And then as you keep leveling past that, because um, how much longer... I think that's like another week, right? Terror Burn? Yeah. It's the 21st. Oh, until the 21st. Okay, so you do have some more time. Uh, because with the leveling past, you get those extra nodes and those experience nodes. Those are going to be super valuable for you starting up because you'll be able to level up a bunch of your skills a lot more than other people would like without this event. And that'll just help you get more of the final damage that we talked about and just make all of your skills deal more damage. And as a result, you'll just be able to train quicker and you'll be able okay. to get ahead quicker. Got it. And then you'll get to that, you know, struggle CRA party faster so you can start earning your actual CRA gear. And yeah. the Absolab uh, equip will help you with that as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you'll get a mega burning for finishing the tire burn. Yeah, so that'll help you build another uh, link skill that will help you make, get this character faster, uh, stronger. Awesome. Right, anything else specifically? Well, yeah, so there's gonna be a bunch of commands probably that you can read up on that'll help you a lot. Um, yeah. And then if there is anything else that comes up from that, then you know where to find me. Sounds good. All right. Best of luck. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in chat. Yep. Later. Later. Flag race. In, oh, six minutes. Cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is what I get from the, look at all the tabs I have open <laughs> from doing the progression shit. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Oh yeah, the one thing I did mention, but uh, Renica still in chat. If you check exclamation mark dailies, um, it'll go, it'll show you like which things have value for you to do, and if you check the second tab, it'll go by level to show you like at around which levels do you want to bother doing these things. And a lot of the bosses and the stuff that we talked about, you'll recognize that a lot of those things are in that list. Uh, and the reason why they're in the list is because of the value that we just talked about. Like um, where can you get some equips that are useful? Where can you maybe make some money? Where you can get some drops, right? Like for the shield, all of these things are uh, taken into account in the, um, in the dailies grid, it also has the weeklies, but it's, it also has content that aren't bosses. Uh, all of this stuff is in the um, in the grid.